Hi, it's Jim, the Iowa Tesla guy. Well, it's Iowa, and we're in the middle of a huge blizzard. Was over at a friend's house helping them out as far as the move was going. Probably stayed a little longer than I should have, and had to go about 10 miles home in a blizzard that wasn't pleasant. Overall, the Tesla performed pretty well. Some highs, some lows. Um, the highs, traction control with the standard all season tires on the 19 inch Gemini wheels performed surprisingly well. Had to go a half a mile uphill uh, to my house in an unplowed road that had probably six inches of snow in it. No problems whatsoever. Uh, low points, windshield wipers. Um, didn't work very well. Uh, iced up, even with the defrosters on. Um, don't know that any car would have performed very well under these conditions, but uh, made it home. Uh, here it is. I had to plow my driveway before getting the car in, but uh, we're going to put it in the driveway and see what happens. One of the things I figured out while driving, and I probably should have read the owner's manual to figure this out, but the defrost button here, uh, you press it one time, it turns blue. And that leaves your temperature and your fan output uh, pretty much the same. Um, in these conditions, didn't work very well. Uh, everything was icing up. However, press it one more time. It goes red, which forces everything to high. And that actually does a pretty good job of melting everything. Another thing you probably want to do when it's really bad is make sure your mirrors and your windshield wipers are put in the service position. Um, you want to make sure your outside mirrors are folded out. To get to that, you hit the car and you want to say unfold if it said folded. But uh, under service, we want to turn on the wiper service mode, which will move the wipers up into an upward position here, which should hopefully allow it to... Uh, defrost a little bit better when it's sitting inside my car.